Okay, I got a request to do a little video on how I do my torsion bar suspension. Right now we got the car on a jack stand and the tire is on a block so there's no load on the suspension right now. I'm going to show you this. I already loosened the bolt here. This is the push rod from the lower control arm with himes on both ends adjustable for ride height which connects to this arm which is where the torsion bar goes. This is a 316 steel with a socket welded in. The way I do this is I drill a hole in the steel, put the socket through, put a nut in the socket, or actually two I think it took to fill it all the way, just to give me something more to weld to than the little edge of the socket, because I don't think that would be very strong. This, I weld it all up, then I put it in the lathe and turned it to make it pretty. And that's just a, a 16 millimeter. You can go any size you want, it really doesn't matter, as long as this hole corresponds. But that's all that is. This is an unmodified Craftsman 10 inch 3A Strive ratchet extension. An aluminum block, and like I said, with a corresponding hole to the socket, a couple thousandths clearance probably. And then on this end, there's a one inch ratchet extension. It's done the same way. The brackets well into the frame, the socket and extension is put through. A 3 8 slug is inserted in the hole in the extension to give me more material to weld to. It's all welded solid on the back side and that's not going anywhere. But it's that easy. Then to put it back together it's just a matter of snapping that in. You can change this to different diameter bars if you want it softer or stiffer. Put that back in there. And that's it. It's that easy. And it's cheap and it's multi-adjustable. You can do so many things with it. But there you have it.